Hi there, this is Kay White and I'm coming to you live from Sparkle Central on a day when I have interviewed, literally interviewed a client this morning about her upcoming appraisal. And it occurred to me how easy it is to skip past the preparation part for your own appraisal. Now I know it's mid-August and I know that it's the holiday season, but I also know that a lot of women have midterm reviews coming up, um, pre-year end reviews, and now's the time to think about it. You've got a bit of space, you might have a bit of a slowdown. And here's the thing, this message here to sparkle isn't about wearing sequins as much as I love sequins and happen to be wearing some today. It's really about allowing yourself to shine. Not to be a show off and feel all uncomfortable, but to literally think carefully about your year just gone by, the progress you've made, the contribution you've made, the potential you have, and break that down into examples so that you, with your boss or whoever it is who interviews or uh, praises you, has something to work with. Because it's unlikely in that moment that it's the decision the decision about what's going to happen for your salary and your potential is ne not necessarily going to be made in that moment. So as I was saying with my client this morning, let's prepare your boss to be prepared for the conversations that he has to have after you've had your appraisal. So truly it's to shine brightly with no apology as only you can. And to do that, I really recommend you prepare. So whether it's an appraisal you're going to go for, towards or whether it's an interview, I would really encourage you to prepare yourself, which is why I want to offer you as something to take straight away, a principle, principle five of the eight principles of your career success cycle because it never ends. And you'll find that in my new book, It's Always Your Move, which is due out on the 4th of October. But principle five, shine in interviews and appraisals, is there for you to download if you go to kwhite.com forward slash always hyphen your hyphen move. That's kwhite.com forward slash always hyphen your hyphen move. And initially it's about appraisals. There's a story here about Linda. There's another story about Dawn. There's a story here about Summer, all of whom are clients who've used these strategies and preparation steps and mindsets and exact things to say and you'll find the part about appraisals within here giving you how to ask yourself first the questions about your contribution your progress and your potential and then breaking them down the questions to ask yourself so that you can prepare your boss to sparkle on your behalf so I want to encourage you that's kwhite.com forward slash always your move, always hyphen your hyphen move. And it's something, as my client this morning said, it's so easy to, to trip over, to not do, to think, oh, my appraisal, it's a tick box exercise. Only if you allow it. And as I say to you in my book, no one should nor is, no one is more interested in your career progress than you should be. So this gives you something strategic, tangible, and immediately implementable to work with straight away, which is what I love about what I do, because it's not all airy-fairy. It's actually based in proven strategies, proven tips that I only wish I'd had when I was in my own corporate career of over 20 years. So I will invite you to take it and use it as you will and to shine brightly in your next appraisal or interview as only you can, with no apology. Until the next time, bye for now.